Welcome to Elements of Fierce, where we celebrate entrepreneurs carving new paths as they create and make our world a more beautiful place. Today, I have the privilege of introducing to you my wonderful audience, um, two wonderful, amazing artists that I've had the privilege to work with, Robin and Robin Smith and Dan Gino. Um, we were connected at the Art Students League and at the National Academy of Fine Arts. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Before we get into our wonderful um, um, conversation, I just wanted to give credit to Andre Day, uh, who is responsible for this wonderful caftan that I'm wearing, that Dan um, painted me in, in this wonderful painting. So thank you, Andre Day. Uh, I think he's over there in Paris, being fabulous. Um, so welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for having so us. So good to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm really, really honored to be able to celebrate uh, your artistry because I think that you know you guys have such a uh, keen eye and such a refined technique when it comes to the world of painting. Um, and of course, you have a really big history. Um, you worked, you, you studied and worked at the academy, correct? Well, I uh, studied at the Art Students League, and then I started studying at the National Academy. This is in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Um, and then I began teaching at the uh, Lyme Academy in the, uh, the late 80s. Uh, also started to teach at the National Academy in 80, 89. National Academy in 89. And about five years ago or six years ago, started in the summer at the Art Students League right, teaching there. Right. So now you actually, uh, you're actually teaching now where you study. That's right, yes. That's amazing. Yeah, in some of the same rooms where I studied, wow. which is uh, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be that able to yeah, do that. that. a great feeling? <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's a real honor and a privilege to, have to, to be able to do that. Right. Now, Robin, you guys met at one of the schools where you're teaching. Yes, we right? met at the National Academy, and um, it was my first um, full-time class in New York City. I came from Connecticut, wow. and um, Dan was my first teacher. Amazing. Yeah, and I had a crush on him then, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but nothing happened until 15 years later. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I didn't know that, Dan. Yeah, we've that's been married amazing. now for three years. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So a total of 15 plus what? But 18 mm -hmm. years you know known? Well, since about 91, I yeah, guess. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. One of the reasons why I was so excited about having you on the show is because when I went to the studio and I um, posed for you, um, Dan. I, I was just really impressed at the amount of dedication and commitment that you both have to the world of art. Um, you know, you could have one of you could be working in a corporate job, supporting the other one as an artist. But you know, you both took that leap of faith in your talent and your skill, and in the in the belief of what you're doing and the importance that it has on the community. Again, going back to our mission to making our world a better place, that you took that leap of faith and you both. A full-time artist, and you're and you're doing it. You have your own apartment in Manhattan near the Time Warner Building. I mean, it's a great location, and and you both are successful artists, living and doing what you love to do. I mean, that's amazing, uh, and I'm we're here to celebrate that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, it's um, it's, it's something I've always wanted to do my whole life is uh, paint and and draw and um, be a storyteller, basically, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Luckily, I can live in New York City because this is this right. this is the um, it's the cooking pot for all right. the, all the arts. Yeah. Uh, thanks to uh, rent control, I can <laughs> live in, mid in Midtown Manhattan. And, yeah, uh, and that was my next question. My next question was like, of course, you know, like myself, I know that there's always these hurdles that we have to get over when we were uh, attempting to live our dreams. And I was just going to ask what some of those hurdles might have been for you and. Obviously, those hurdles weren't so big that it stopped you from pursuing your dreams. So, uh, just if you wanted to talk a little bit about like how you dealt with the challenges or what some of the challenges were, you know, throughout your career, you know. Well, there, there are always challenges, you know, day to day. Just uh, getting up in the morning and uh, getting the, the getting up the nerve to paint and draw. Um, so that that. I, you know, I, I can't s say anything specifically. Uh, just uh, life, life in general right, is. Right. Uh, well, we is talked about it d briefly um, mm -hmm. when we were working on this project about how the challenge of figurative drawing oh, yes. and like you know selling your art and you know um, commercial art versus you know your art where you were making a political statement. Like I was really um, impressed with the the vision that you had with your work as far as the the direction that you're going in with your pieces. 
Um, you might, do you want to like share with the audience a little bit about what? Well, well for me, uh, painting has a lot to do. Uh, it, painting has to do with the, the visual, you know, color, shape, uh, expressive content of, uh, of, the, of the paint. But also, I, I like to try to say something about an individual or say something about uh, society mm -hmm. or uh, politics in general. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my work has something to do with, uh, uh, has some kind of political or social statement. Right. Um, right. And Robin, what about you? How do you, what do you feel? What inspires you in your art? I mean, it's so beautiful and so, mm -hmm. it's so real. It's like, it's almost like a photograph, you know what I mean? The detailing is just amazing. Well, I, I think I just, I love doing people, mm -hmm. and I love trying to capture what I feel when I look at them, and to get their, the feeling, their whole feeling. I, I, for me, when I look at your work, I, I really get a sense of the essence of the person. Um, you know, even when I was at the studio, you know, I had all this, I had the opportunity of seeing all this beautiful artwork all around me while I was posing in the studio and it was amazing you know <laughs> to have that opportunity to see all I felt like I was at the Dan and Robin gallery <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing Thank yeah, you. I know, yeah there's not an inch of wall space left yes. no it no. should be right it's no. wonderful <laughs> um and uh, talking about galleries how is it for you as artists as far as um getting your work out into the mainstream and um and, and having an effect on people because that's, of course, <coughs> the reason why you're an artist is you want to have an effect on society and, and make people think and, and move people. So how has that been? How's the, that? the gallery world is, is, is not an easy place to um, make a statement because it's pretty much a, a closed world. And unless you know somebody, well, you have very, you know, very commercial uh, um, look to your work. Um, if, if your work um, uh, appeals... Um, to somebody you know, who, well, a lot of work is sold to corporations, and so it, ha it, it can't be too uh, confrontational. Um, so that's a lot of what sells in the gallery. Uh, so if, you know, if you're trying to do, do something other than that, uh, some kind of a personal, personal statement, uh, you basically have to do it for yourself. Right, right. And uh, if you happen to find a gallery owner who goes along with that idea or is willing to support you, that's, that's great. Wonderful. Um, you know, uh, one thing that's that's developed over the last few years is the web, and artists can now be their own ga uh, gallery owner. Right, right. Uh, you have a website, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. What is it? Uh, it's uh, dangeno.net. Okay. And and um, you guys show your work together, or? Uh, well, that's just, just my website. We're trying to get one together for Robin. Robin? Great. Yeah. Great. 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 And uh, hopefully, it'll be up soon. Yeah. Now you've been published in magazines, and like you've been. Uh, talked about in different periodicals, right? I mean, that's another yeah. outlet. Drawing Magazine for one. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, I, we, we saw the most recent issue of Drawing Magazine at, at, the, uh, at our, one of the classes yeah. at the Academy. Yeah, I um, also do a series of articles for uh, Drawing Magazine, which is uh, published by uh, American Artists. Oh. <clears throat> and um, I've been doing that series now well, since uh, uh, 2000, I think. Um, the this, this series is... A, is series of articles that um, describe uh, a way to approach drawing from beginning a drawing to finishing it and uh, eventually it'll be compiled into a into a book. Mm, wonderful. I mean we have yeah. the privilege of uh, yeah, having two of the magazines here. Yeah this is um, the, the latest issue of uh, Drawing Magazine that just that's out on the stands right now. Ha that one has one of my articles in it. Uh, that, that's <coughs> spring 2010. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, one that came out a couple of years ago. It's a compilation, this one right here, a compilation of, uh, of my articles up to that point, uh, including um, some of my uh, uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. This is great. This is like really um, for an uh, art student to also get a better idea of from beginning to end the process of yes. creating the image. And it's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, I, I love the images. Oh, there's more images. This one is, is almost like a textbook for right. drawing That's the crazy. highlights because they're all of his articles. Right. And um, now, how long have you guys been painting? Well, since I was uh, 10, uh, <laughs> I'm 55 now, so wow. I don't know how long that is. Wow. But, uh, and Robin, how long have you been painting? Well, I, I drew all the time as a kid, and then I started, I went back to drawing a in my early 20s, and then didn't really start seriously painting until 
I was um, about 30, which is quite a while ago. <laughs> wow. Um, and so, I, and I've been taking um, classes every day mm. since then. So you really refined your, and like really fine-tuned your, your skill. I mean, which is, it shows in your work, obviously. I mean, it's amazing. I, the, for mm -hmm. me also, it's wonderful how you capture light. Like, that's why I, when we were in the studio, I was like, can we bring that one with the red <laughs> yeah. jumpsuit? Because it's like, that red jumpsuit is just amazing how the certain areas where the light is captured on. I mean, it just, it just pops out. It's so real, you know what I mean? Well, and that, and I, I've seen you, when I modeled in the class, how meticulous you are. It's almost like an architect's approach to painting because mm -hmm. you're, you're measuring and you're checking, you know, with the mirror. There's all these different techniques that you use, right, to, to be able to make the image as real as possible. Just very, it, was, it was interesting to be on, on that side of the spectrum, you know, mm -hmm. sitting there posing and at the, while I'm sitting there seeing everybody's uh, technique. Everybody had a different technique as to how they would paint. And you know what else is really fascinating for me is that when I, during the break, I get up and I walk around and just to see how diverse that same pose is interpreted by all the different artists. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fascinating? It must be, I mean, it must be very rewarding for both of you to be able to teach and also do, to create art. You know what I mean? You know, one of the things about uh, the Art Students League and, and also the National Academy is uh, that people uh, get the opportunity to, to work from a, a model. And so like in Robin's case, you know, she, even though she may be in the class, she's not really a student, as, you know, she's, she's an artist, uh, as, are, you know, as are a lot of people in the class working from model, um, using it as an opportunity to do their own personal artwork. Yeah. It's very, uh, as you know, it's very expensive, you know, for people to actually hire their own models. Uh, so the league and, and the academy offer that as, as a possibility for people wow. who want to express themselves, but also work from life. Mm -hmm. You know, working from life as opposed to photographs, th there's a big difference. I was going to ask, is there a big difference? Yeah, a gigantic okay. difference, yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a give and take mm -hmm. between... Um, the, the artist and the model yes. that, that occurs in real life. Uh, and, uh, and as you know from us working together, you know, there's a lot of talking during the yeah. break, so you get yeah. to know the other person. Yeah. And, um, and when you were posing for my class at the academy, I realized, um, you know, you're, you're somebody I'd like to, to paint, you know, because, because I knew I, I, I could trust you. I, I knew you were an interesting person, a nice person, and uh, that's really important to me when I work for, in, in my studio, right. in my own personal studio, right. from the model. Well, it was my honor to to, to mm -hmm. pose for you. It was really, no, really thank great. You, thank you. Work, and I'm 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 just flabbergasted to be sitting here <laughs> next to you. It's, it's amazing. <coughs> I, when, the other thing I wanted to ask too, it must be really thrilling to be able to work together. I mean, what's the chances of that happening? Did you yeah. guys like like ask or request that, or did it just kind of happen that you became the monitor and you were the mm -hmm. teacher in the same class? Or how did that? Come to fruition. Well, when they offered me the job at yeah. the, the, the league to um, <clears throat> to teach there, which it was quite an honor. Um, Robin was you know, my first choice for you know yeah. for monitor, uh, and I think she's uh, quite an inspiration to the other people in the class. Yeah. Also, you know, having her work since I've been married to Robin, having yeah. her work hanging on my walls is yeah. is is a real honor too because yeah. it, it gives me inspiration as well. I really enjoy looking at her work. And I see that, the, the, I see the chemistry mm -hmm. and the way you guys work together when I'm modeling in the class, and, and I see that you guys inspire each other and, and keep each other in the like high life condition, because sometimes, <laughs> you know, like getting up early in the morning and coming to class, it's like the yeah. coffee just doesn't do it enough. So it's mm -hmm. great to have each other to, you know, to lean on, you know what I mean? Like, yes. it's a beautiful thing.